What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super simple US Army flag. Uh, I've gotten a couple requests to do this video, so here it is. I hope you guys enjoy it, and without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first up we're going to get our stripes cut. I got five 8 foot 1 by 2s here, and we're going to cut six of them at 37 inches and seven of them at 22 and a quarter. All right, so now we got those cut. Next, I got these one by three scraps and I'm gonna cut four pieces at 18 and a half inches and two pieces at five inches. All right, so for the union, I got the top seven stripes clamped together and we're just gonna cut the union at 14 and three quarter inches long. And then we'll just measure this right here. So I got 10 and five sixteenths. And then that is what will cut the width that. And I'll be using a piece of one by 12 for that. So we'll cut it to 14 and three quarter, and then whatever your top seven stripes measure out to be. All right, so now that we got our stripes cut and our union cut, next up, I'm just gonna take my orbital sander here. I got 180 grit sandpaper on there, and I'm just gonna be going over the faces, and then I'm also gonna hit these edges and just try to give them a little bit of just a beveled edge. Uh, you don't gotta get too carried away, and also you don't have to do that. Uh, I just think it makes it look cleaner, and it just makes it flow a little better. So let's go ahead and get these sanded. All right, so we're done sanding, and I just wanted to show you these real quick. Um, I just think they turn out really clean when you do that little bit of rounded uh, beveled edge. But we can go ahead and move on to the torching. All right, so for the torching, I like to go a little bit darker on the edges and a little bit lighter in the middle. Uh, I just got a burns matic propane torch here, and um, you just gotta keep in mind that you'll wanna burn the very edges, and then you'll also wanna burn the bottom of the very bottom stripe and the very top of the top stripe and then around the two edges of the union that will be showing. All right, so it'll just look something like that. Uh, obviously it can be darker, lighter, however you want it, but we can go ahead and get the rest of these torched. All right, so now that we're done with the torching, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these stained. So for the red, I got some Minwax water-based wood stain. This stuff is tinted in scarlet. For the white, I got some Varathane water-based wood stain. This is tinted in just white. And for the blue, I got some Varathane water-based wood stain tinted in navy blue. Uh, the Varathane is from Home Depot, and uh, they'll just have these cans on the shelf, and it says tintable base, and then you just ask to get them tinted. And the min wax is from Lowe's, and that is the same deal. And to stain these, I'll just be using a rag, and I just wipe it on there, and then make sure I wipe it on the very bottom, on the edges, and then just right inside the stripes, not all the way through, but just enough so that if these stripes don't line up perfectly, uh, you don't see any of the bare wood. Uh, don't worry about it on the white stripes because you won't really notice it, but at least on the red and on the blue. And typically I'll do three coats, uh, let it just dry all the way in between. And you don't have to do that many coats, that's just how many coats I do to get the color I like. But we can go ahead and get these stained.
All right, so once we're done staining, uh, we can go ahead and get these all flipped over onto their face. And you wanna make sure that you put the union on the right side so that when it gets flipped over, it's back on the left side. And then next what we're gonna do is measure over an inch and a half and 13 and a half inches. And we'll do it on the bottom and on the top and then we'll do it from either side. And then those marks are what we're gonna use to line up our backer pieces. Uh, we'll put them on the insides of those marks. And what I'll do is just start on the right side, I'll get it clamped uh, so that all the boards are tight. I'll make sure that these are all pushed up tight. And I'll just glue the back of the flag the back of the board and then I'll put it on there and then for the union I just spread out a couple nails through the top maybe do like six rows of two and then once I get down into the stripes I do three per stripe um, and then obviously on this one I'll just do some into the union some into the stripes and then spread them out down below uh, for a nailer I'll be using an 18 gauge brad nailer with some inch and a quarter nails so let's go ahead and get this all glued and nailed together <laughs> All right, and then the last thing that we gotta do for the back is just nail these little blocks. I just like to put them up tight against the two sides. On the left side, I'll just line it up with the bottom of the top stripe. And then on this side, I'll just measure an inch and a half off the top. And you can just glue and nail those in and those will work for the hangers. All right, so next up, we're gonna go ahead and get it sealed. I just got some of this 2X Ultra Cover Gloss Sealer, and I'll just be doing two coats of this stuff, and you just wanna make sure that your stain has dried for at least three hours before you put the sealer on. All right, so I got my sealer on there. Uh, I actually only just did one coat, and it went on there thick enough to where I think one coat's fine. Uh, next, I'm gonna do the stars. So I just got my stencil here and I'll just tape this in place, cover up the rest of the flag with paper, uh, make sure I cover up around the edges. And then I got some white spray paint here and I will just try to do light even coats and try and hold it um, high enough up to where it won't put uh, blow the, the stencil up and spray dust under there. And this usually works a lot better with this one piece union if you have the alternate pieces and that leaves a lot of gaps but with this they should come out pretty clean so go ahead get the star sprayed on all right now we can go ahead and remove this And that is how they turn out. All right, so next up, we're gonna move on to the design. So I just got this design printed out here. Uh, I just pretty much filled up the page on a regular piece of uh, printer paper. Uh, it looks a little weird because I erased a lot of the black just so that it didn't waste a bunch of ink. Uh, I can go ahead and link the same picture that I used in the description. And what I'm gonna do is just center it between the union and this right side here. And then I'll put it so that the US Army is just centered right on this uh, second white stripe. That way it'll kind of pop out a little bit. And then I just got this carbon transfer paper. So what you do is just slide this under. Um, it'll go felt side up. And this bottom side is like dark and shiny. You just slide it under there. Try to make sure you don't uh, press on it too much when you're putting it in place, otherwise it'll mark up below and then the one I got came with these little tools to outline it but you can just use a pencil or anything like that to outline it and I'll just tape this so that the transfer paper is right below it and I'll just put it right where I want it to be then I'll just tape the sides down and then you just go through and outline it and it will just transfer that to the wood below it and the way I'm gonna do mine it's gonna kind of be the opposite of how it is on here so all of the dark areas and they'll just have this the stripes going through them and all the white areas is what I'll kind of be um, outlining and then painting so I'll go when I outline it I'll go on the outside of anything that is uh, light colored so like the US Army I'll go on the outside just right on the outsides of that and then 
uh, around this edge. And then for the stars, I'm just gonna do uh, this thicker outline of the star right here. But we can go ahead and get this all outlined. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this off. And there you can see it leaves a really nice outline. All right, so I went ahead and papered off around the edges just so that it kind of stays clean while I'm carving. And what I'm gonna do is do a quick first carve. So I got my Dremel here, it's a Dremel 3000, and then I got a flex shaft with a dust blower, and then I have a, uh, it's a number 106 carving tip. So it's just one of their wood carving tips. It's just got a little ball in the end. And what I'm gonna do is just do a light outline. So it's just, just kind of like a, works as, kind of hold it like a pen or a marker, and I just lightly go back and forth in this first one. Uh, we don't, I'm not gonna do it very deep. I just wanna do just a, very slight groove uh, and then we'll paint it and then after we'll go through and do a deeper one uh, and just clean up the edges and when I do it I got the Dremel on full speed <laughs> all right so next what I'm gonna do is take uh, I just got some frog tape here. You can use any size. I got the uh, the two inch stuff. And I'm just gonna go through and uh, tape off all the areas that I don't want painted. And then I'll use my grooves here to use a utility knife to cut out where I am gonna be painting. So it may be a little tricky around the letters. And if you think it'd be easier to just tape off a section and then and then mark out the outline and then just cut it out without having the grooves, you can do that too. Uh, I personally prefer having the grooves there because then it's just easier to follow along. Uh, usually I'll just figure out where they are and try and push them in so that I have a little indent. So I'm just gonna tape off everything and then I'll get those cut out. And then uh, once we have everything taped off and cut out, then we'll be ready to paint. <laughs> All right, so I got that tape all cut out. So we got a nice little stencil here and I just got some black spray paint and I'll go ahead and put a couple coats on it. All right, so we can go ahead and pull our tape now. I'm gonna leave the paper just since we're gonna do uh, one more carving with it, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of my green tape. All right, now I'm gonna go through and uh, just hit that outline again and maybe just do it a little bit deeper uh, just to make it pop a little bit more. All right, so when you're done, uh, you should end up with something looking kind of like that. I think it comes out looking pretty clean. Now we can remove the rest of our masking. And the last thing that we gotta do is throw some hangers on the back and we'll be good to go. All right, so for the hangers, I just use these sawtooth hangers and I will just center them on these two blocks. All right, so that's it all finished up. Uh, I'd love to hear any comments or advice on how to make this thing cooler or better. Uh, you guys always have some pretty cool ideas. Uh, I'd love to hear any video recommendations that you guys might have. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like it. Subscribe if you wanna see more. I'll go ahead and link everything that I used down in the description. Thank you everyone so much for watching and please have a great day. Yeah.